Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we're doing lesson 7.7 .7 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 7.7 .7 is about adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So yesterday we learned what a mixed number is. It's where you have a big whole number in front of your fraction. So we're going to have two of those today that we need to add together. So the process is just a little bit different than your regular way of adding fractions. So here our um, problem says, after a party, there were one and four six quesadillas left on the tray and two and three six quesadillas left on another tray. How much of the quesadillas were left? So we need to add one and four six plus two and three six. So first step they say is to add the fraction parts of the mixed numbers. So we're going to kind of just ignore the big numbers in the front and add four six and three six. So I'm going to go ahead and color in four six and I'm going to color in three more for the other three sixths. So it's going to be one, two, and then the third one will have to go over here because there's not enough. So that tells me if I add all those up, four plus three, that's seven sixths, the fraction part. Now the second step is to add the whole number parts of the mixed number. So my whole numbers are 1 and 2. I know 1 plus 2 is 3. And you could color all these in if you want. Shade the model 1 plus 2. So they had 1 there plus 2. So all three of those are colored in. This part right here this is just moved down from up here. We colored in a hole plus one other little piece of pie. And now we're adding the big big numbers in the front. So we have three holes. But really, when you look at this picture, you can see not only are there three holes, there's this hole that we filled up with part of the fractions too. So that's going to help us with our answer. We can see now that our answer is going to be one, two, three, 4 plus this 1 sixth piece. Now, to get there, we've already got our 3 and 7 6. We're going to rename the sum. So 3 and 7 6 equals 3 and 6 6 plus 1 6 because there's that hole. The reason that we're doing that is because there's this hole that was made when we added the 4, 6, and the 3, 6. So we're writing that as the hole plus this extra little piece as the 1, 6. So we're kind of taking what we know about decomposing fractions and doing that there. So 3 plus 1 plus... 1 sixth equals 4 sixths. They changed this 6 6 into a 1. So there are 4 and 1 6 quesadillas left. Now that's a lot of steps and it's pictures and that's probably not what you would do in real life. If you were to add in real life, you would probably do something like this. Let's say that we have 4 and one half and we wanted to add two and one half I would first add up my fraction parts which is one half plus one half which is two halves and then I would add up my holes four plus two is six and then I'd rename this because I know 2 over 2 is like an extra whole, so I'd rewrite that as 7. So this extra whole right here, I'm changing into 1 and adding it to the 6 that I already had. So that's how I'd probably do it in real life rather than drawing all those models. Um, let's do one more. Let's say we have 2 and 2 thirds. Let's make that a little bit bigger. 2 and two 
two-thirds, and I want to add three and two-thirds. I'll first add my fraction parts. So I have two-thirds plus two-thirds gives me four-thirds. Then I will add my holes over here. Two plus three is five. And now I've got to look at this number, five and four-thirds, and I've got to rename it. We can't have this four-thirds. So I'm going to say I know three-thirds would make a whole, and then the fourth would be an extra one-third. So I'm going to take this one whole and add it to my five, which would give me six. And then I still have this one-third that I have to add on to there. So six and one-third. So that's how I add mixed numbers. Let's try subtracting mixed numbers. Let's say that we had four or three and four, six, and I want to subtract two and three, six. So I'm going to start with my fractions. And I have 4, 6 minus 3, 6. 4 minus 3 is 1, and it's still 6. And then I move over to my whole numbers. 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1 and 1, 6. Let's try another one. Let's do 6 and 4 fifths. And we want to subtract 3 and 3 fifths. Start with my fractions, 4 fifths minus 3 fifths, 4 minus 3 is 1, and the fifths stay the same, and then move to my whole numbers, 6 minus 3 is 3, so 3 and 1 fifth. Okay, so that is lesson 7.7, .7. it's how to add or subtract mixed numbers. Um, if you're in my class, the password is Cinderella, and you should have filled out page 293 as you are watching the video. If you have any questions, just leave me a message.